it's time. We are going to be decorating for fall. School is back in session, football is on TV, and we are ready for some cooler weather. So in today's video, I'm going to be doing some fall deep cleaning, giving you plenty of cleaning motivation, transforming my home with lots of fall decorations, and also sharing a six can crock pot recipe with you. So give me a thumbs up if you're ready for fall. So this mess was from a little bit of bath paint and a bath bomb that didn't fully dissolve and was sitting in the bottom of the bath after the girls had a bath this night. So I busted out my barkeeper's friend because I knew since it was red, it could stain our bathtub. So I was wiping that down with a scrub mommy sponge. It's my favorite sponge ever. But thank you so much for being here. I'm Jamie and I just want to welcome you to Jamie's journey. We have a lot in today's video. I am a wife and a mom to three daughters. I have twin three-year-olds, three and a half. They just started preschool. And then my oldest, Avery, is seven and in second grade. So I like to share all of our everyday <laughs> crazy messes. And I am just a mom doing my best, trying not to lose my mind, keep it all together. And I would just love for you guys to join my journey. Every single week, I post videos on cleaning, organizing, decluttering. We are moving into a new home at the end of this year. So a lot more cleaning and organizing coming your way on my channel. Again, thank you so much for being here. So I was getting ready to scrub out my sink with the Mrs. Meyers baking soda cream cleanser. I typically use this, the Scrub Mommy Power Paste or Dawn Power Wash. I just kind of switch it up depending on my mood, what I'm feeling, how much time I have. And then here I go again with my Scrub Mommy sponge. But I also want to say thank you for last week's video. I got a lot of positive feedback when I shared some of my work history and what I did for 10 years. A lot of you, if you guys are new here, I have a degree in um, education. I went to school to be a teacher. I have a bachelor's and master's degree in education. But that dream of being a teacher and having my own classroom never worked out. But I found a calling working for a nonprofit, working in organ donation for 10 years. And I talked a little bit about it in last week's video, and I was just blown away by the support and, you know, the cause that I put so much time and energy in for 10 years. And so many of you guys shared stories of maybe a family member received an organ transplant or a family member donated, which is just truly amazing. <music>
So I have been loving the Sprayway stainless steel cleaner. It's usually that or my e-cloth. Um, microfiber cloths. Those are my go-tos for cleaning my stainless steel appliances, but I'm going to wipe everything down and then I'm going to go and rake our stairs and then vacuum the stairs. So this is kind of embarrassing, but I recently fell down the stairs and to be honest, I actually did it, I think it was back in December and it was really bad back in December. I am pretty sure I fractured or I don't know, I did something to my tailbone because I fell in the middle of the night. I was going downstairs to get something to drink, some water. I couldn't sleep, so I went downstairs and I slipped and went straight down on my tailbone. And I am not exaggerating. I could barely walk the next day and it did not fully heal for, it was probably two months before I wasn't sore. So this time, middle of the day it was like noon and i was walking downstairs and i went to grab something on the ledge that's in our upstairs and i slipped fell on my side and when this happens i know it's time to vacuum the stairs because i think what happens when i go too long without vacuuming the stairs i know i need to do it more the carpet kind of gets matted down and it it becomes more slippery. I don't know if that makes sense. So I fluffed up the stairs by raking it. I will have the rake linked in the description and then vacuumed. Are you ready for fall? Ready for football. <laughs> what about fall? Yeah, All the well, fall football stuff? comes in the fall, so. <laughs> All right, we're gonna do this. Ready. <laughs> So in the morning, after I get the girls all off to school, we are gonna decorate for fall. And it's a little bit bittersweet because all of this everyday decor, I will likely never see again here in this home. So I'm like, ah, oh, as excited as I am to decorate for fall, it's like, it's a little bittersweet. I hope you're ready, I hope you're excited. Today is the day I'm gonna be decorating. I got the girls up and out the door for school, took them to school. Um, it's kind of different for me because the twins are in preschool now. They don't go full day, but they still nap in the afternoon. So now I have a little bit of time in the morning and then a little bit time in the afternoon to do whatever I need to do. And that was the plan for today. I was gonna decorate and I was gonna save some decorations for Avery. When she got home, I wanted her to be able to decorate. She was excited. So we had talked about it the night before and I was gonna save Halloween decorations for her. I don't typically decorate for Halloween, but she really wanted to decorate for Halloween. So I told her I'd let her decorate when she got home. So in some of my videos, I like to share the high point to my week, the low point to my week, just to kind of 
start a conversation and you guys are always welcome to share your high point or maybe your low point if you want to share in the comment section but this week i'll start with the low point to my week because i want to end on the positive so the low point to my week was it was a very good week but it was that time of the month, not to be too TMI. And I had a couple of days, I just wasn't feeling it. I wasn't feeling myself. And there was no particular reason why. The past couple of weeks have been very busy. I'm sure it's been like that for you guys as well. We are starting up fall activities, school starting, and there's always so much you have to do right before school starts. So it has been a busy past couple of weeks. And then you add in that time of the month. And I had one evening that I just I feel like I wasn't the best version of myself the person that I don't want to be um and probably not the best mom and you know I guess the good part is I recognized it I just lost my patience lost my cool when I probably didn't need to you know so that's my low point but I think like I said the good point is is I recognize it and you know I I know I got to give myself some grace as a mom I hope a lot of you guys can understand what I, I'm going through, but it's all good now. Everyone's happy, happy, healthy, and I'm good now. But I just didn't like how I lost my patience too much those two days. Okay, in the middle of decorating, I think I had gotten into the microwave and I noticed how dirty it was. I mean, it wasn't horrible, but it needed to be clean. So what I did was I take a bowl, um, a bowl you can put in your microwave. I pour in some white distilled vinegar and then I put it in the microwave for about seven minutes. And what that does is the vinegar, vinegar heats up and kind of coats the inside of the microwave. And then when I'm done with that, you'll see me going in with, with some Dawn power wash and I'll spray that all over the insides and then I wipe it down and just the combination of the vinegar and the Dawn and it's all hot and humid in the microwave it just makes it really easy to wipe down. All right, so I shared my low point, which again, I hope a lot of you parents can relate. Now let's talk about the high point. The high point was they went off to school and they loved it. They loved it. They're thriving. And it was crazy because Mike and I both took them. So they were in the back of the car. And they jumped out and I honestly expected them to cry. I was expecting some tears from at least Addison, but we pulled up. So the teachers come out, they get them out of the car, we pull up, they go, bye, and hopped right down, walked right in. And then Mike and I pulled away and I'm like, what is going on? I can't believe this. I mean, I'm happy they weren't sad, obviously, but it, it was just, it was crazy to watch them go, um, but they're thriving. They're already making friends, coming home and singing songs, and I'm just so happy for them. So I like to see them all happy. What do you think? 
Looks nice. It smells like fall. It does? Yeah. It's awesome. <laughs> that's what that's why I have all these candles. So this is something that I like to do, I think ideally every other month, but it had been a while, was to clean my rugs. So all of my rugs that are in the doorways when you walk in our home, they have a rubber backing on the bottom. And you're not supposed to put rugs with a rubber backing on in your washing machine because it can, it can start to come off, which that actually has happened to some of our rugs, and then it damages the inside of your washing machine. I'm not going to say I've never thrown my, my rugs in the washing machine, but I really try not to. They get pretty dirty, as you're going to see from the water, the dirty water. They get pretty gross. So I like to clean them with my Hoover Power Dash Pet Carpet Cleaner. I will have this linked in the description, but it's my lightweight, more compact carpet cleaner. This is great if you don't have a lot of carpet. Um, if you need something more lightweight, it doesn't have an attachment, so that is a negative to it. It's also not super easy to clean. You'll see me here um, cleaning it. What I do is I just put some water in the bathtub and then kind of stick the bottom part in it and then shake it around. That's one of the ways. Um, other carpet cleaner, the other carpet cleaner I have is a lot easier to clean, um, but this one, like I said, is just perfect for smaller areas and rugs. So that Scrub Danny damp duster, I've really, really been enjoying. This is like the second time I've used it. And I think in the first time, the video that I used it, someone asked where I had gotten it and a super sweet viewer sent it to me, which I'm so grateful for because it's been sold out every time I've gone on their website. I went and ordered a few things on the Scrub Daddy website the other day and it was sold out. Every time I go and look, it was sold out. So I've been thoroughly enjoying that for dusting like baseboards and blinds now it's not like a heavy duty cleaner but i think it's great for maintenance you just wet it with water and it wipe it you know you can wipe whatever down you need to dust um so like i said i don't decorate really any other rooms in the home except for you know this bathroom i'm not really sure what i think about the little decorations what i basically did was i took a look at the little pieces of decorations that I had left over and I just kind of threw them in there. To be honest with you, with us moving, I'm not stressing too much about the perfect placement of everything in here. Um, and I don't want a lot of stuff in the bathroom. So I probably would like some fall flowers or something like that. But again, I, even though I know that you can get that pretty cheap, I still just don't want to buy anything right now for this house. <music>
So at this point, I just wanted to vacuum the sectional. I just love seeing the vacuum lines on the sectional. And then I was going to get our crock pot meal going just so we could eat that for dinner. Avery had softball practice this evening and Mike's our coach. So they always need to eat pretty early. Um, and it is a six can crock chick white chicken chili crock pot recipe. So super easy, super simple. So right up my alley. And I love cooking with my crock pot, but even more so in the fall time. I will have this recipe linked in the description just so you guys have all of the ingredients. My girls thought it was okay. I thought it was pretty good. It's nothing special, but if you just need something quick and easy and healthy, this is a great option. And what I like about it is they're canned. So you can, it's, well, it's cheap and you can just keep the stuff in your pantry for those nights where you're like, I don't know what to make, or I just need something really quickly really quick. I did use canned chicken, which typically is not my favorite to use. I like using ac actual chicken breasts or rotisserie chicken, but I'm having a hard time getting my girls to like chicken. It's chewy. Um, I get it. I remember feeling that way when I was little. I feel like when I give the girls chicken, even if it's cooked in like a soup, they just seem to chew forever, even if I cut it up in little pieces. So I was wondering if yes i know canned chicken can be full of a lot of extra sodium not as healthy as like a regular chicken breast but it's usually softer and not as chewy so that's why i went that route and again something that is shelf stable that you can keep in your pantry the one thing that i would make a change is i did diced tomatoes with green chilies next time i would take out the green chilies and just do the diced tomatoes. I like the green chilies, but the girls did not. It wasn't super spicy, but just probably too spicy for them. So next time I'll just do a can of diced tomatoes. So I put in one teaspoon of powdered Tide laundry detergent in my O Cedar mop bucket. And I often get asked how I choose which mop I'm using, like this or my Tinco, or it kind of goes back to when I was cleaning our sink. I said I have like three products. And yeah, there are times where I pick a specific cleaning product or tool based on the mess. And sometimes it's just on preference. It's how I'm feeling, my mood. I like to switch it up. It kind of changes things up for me and makes it a little bit more exciting. So I think one of the coolest things about this community is that we can all learn from each other. You guys, a lot of times if you're from a different country, different part of the world, different part of the country, you'll share you know, things that you notice in my home maybe is not pretty, is not standard to where you live. And I just think that's so cool. Like for example, growing up in the Midwest, I live in Ohio. I have always, like pretty much every house here has a basement. Like I don't know anyone who doesn't have a basement. It, they're just very standard here. And I know that's not the case for all over the country. And our new house will have a basement. We're going to get it finished and things like that. So 
whether it's that or ways we do things. It's just, it's really cool to learn from each other. And I'm always interested, even in weather, weather patterns, if we're talking fall, like here, it'll start cooling down here in the next couple of weeks. Usually by Halloween, it is freezing cold. We need, you know, winter coats when it comes to Halloween. So October for us is a big transitional month. Starts out, I would say like light jacket in early October. And then by the end of October, it is full on winter coats. We've had it snowing sometimes on Halloween. So things will start changing for us quickly here. But let me know when it gets cold, cold where you live. I'm done, it's about time to go get Avery. I think Mike said that he wants to go grab her, so he's gonna grab her. I'm gonna hop in the shower. I'm feeling good, the house is decorated. It smells like fall, it looks like fall. I got some chili in the crock pot. <sighs> so glad it's September, ready for the fall because that means we're moving. <laughs> What are you saying? Hey, 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 girlies. Hey, come here. Hey. You're being crazy. Hey, can I ask you a question? What? What do you think about your new school? There's a kitchen. There's a kitchen? We gotta be quiet. Here is the challenge. I'm challenging you guys. If you have laundry to fold, go get it right now. I'll wait. Go get it right now and let's fold together. So we can have no laundry waiting for us. You know when it just hangs over your head and you're feeling overwhelmed, go get your laundry and let's fold it together. So everyone is asleep. Well, the girls should be sleeping. <laughs> the house is clean. I thought I'd give you guys a little home tour. With Come in here. And with the new house, I actually just got asked this question on Instagram. So the new house would have more neutral colors or we'd add a lot of color. I will say it is very neutral, but I plan to bring in more color through my decor. I don't have a lot of decorations here in this house because if I would have picked out this house, I wouldn't have picked out the busy, warm countertops. Obviously before this, our cabinets were um, brown. I wouldn't have picked those out. That's why we painted those. Um, like even like the tile around the fireplace, I wouldn't have picked those. So anyways, I chose to, um, when I decorate in here, I try to really balance out those warmer colors 
personally because they're just not for me. Um, it's just not my style. I like cooler colors. I like gray, blues, whites, that type of stuff. So here, I keep my decorations very minimal. Now in the new house, I'll still keep it minimal because I don't like a lot of stuff on my countertops, but I will bring in more decorations and more colors just because things will be more white. Our island will be, it's like a, a not a dark blue, but like a, a medium blue that almost looks a little bit darker gray in certain colors. So we will have that. It's kind of like a coastal, feel to it coastal i want to say farmhouse there's probably bits of farmhouse but not like full-on farmhouse i guess that's how i would say my style like go farmhouse anyways okay so over here i got this from target last year this is the pumpkin bonfire candle from bath and body works this is from kirkland's a couple years ago um oh i did get this this year this was maybe a couple months ago i got this from the target target dollar section um, and this is the Sweet Cinnamon Plum Candle. So I kind of pick up my candles in the scents based on um, the months. So when you start out here in August or September, I go for more like sweeter, like the plum, but you still get the cinnamon, so you get the fall scent. Um, and then I'll start in maybe like later September and October, start moving into the pumpkin pecan waffles. This one smells so good and it gives off a lot of scent. This is from Kirkland's um, a couple of years ago. And over here, this is from Sweet Water Decor, the pumpkin spice. And I just like how it had the gold lid to it. This was actually from last year that I saved. Pumpkin from Kirkland's and this was just stuff I had laying around. Um, and then I always get asked about our coffee table. I got it from Wayfair. I'll try to link it below. It has been sold out for months, but I will tell you that I don't think it was only sold on Wayfair. I found it from different places or, um, different stores, but Wayfair had it cheaper at the time. But when I found it, I searched for round, wood round, coastal farmhouse coffee table and that came up and I fell in love with it. So um, that's where I got it from. But then I just added a little bit of color here to the gray sectional, um, just like little pops of orange and things like that. I will admit that I feel like fall is one of the only times that I really like adding bolder colors like orange. Um, this sign is from Kirkland's a couple years ago. These are from Michael's, and then this was from the Target Dollar section. This was also from Target a couple of years ago. So nothing too crazy, obviously. Oh, I get asked about these baskets a lot. Those are from Target, and then this is from Wayfair as well. Um, but it was funny, because when the girls walked in the door, they're like, oh, mommy decorated. They were like, is this our new home? <laughs> The twins asked if this was our new home, and I'm like, yeah, I guess probably to you guys. This is kind of a newer home, huh? I just love the cozy feeling. It's dark, and I feel like I am in the minority here, you guys. I kind of like it that it gets darker earlier in the evening. I know that's so weird. I know. Like, you know, we all have those weird things that people are like, why do you feel that way? I don't know. Um, in December, it gets dark here around like 4.30 or 5 p.m. Right now it's about 8.45 and it's, I mean, it's it's dark outside. And I kinda like it, it's cozy. I think that's what it is because like I said earlier, I love my candles, I love that. Fire going, candles burning, the smell in the air, I don't know. I, I'll admit that it's a little bit different this year with decorating for fall. Like usually I'm like, oh, it feels so good. And it does feel good. But I know that we're gonna be moving soon, so like all of this stuff is gonna be uprooted. Um, so it's just like a different feeling, um, maybe unsettling feeling, I guess, because you know it feels good to get your house clean. It feels good to have everything nice in order and in place. But I know in a couple of months, everything is just gonna be a mess. Every single room is going to be a mess. Every single room is gonna to need to be cleaned and organized, and that is very overwhelming. Um, and I, if you guys have ever moved, which I'm sure you have, you guys totally understand what I'm saying. And I'm just trying to tell myself like, it's okay, Jamie. Your house doesn't need to be perfect. Every room doesn't need to be perfect. I guess where I'm coming from is I know how long it's taken me to organize or get my current home to the way I like it and I want it. 
and I'm just thinking about that for the new house and I'll admit it's very very overwhelming and I'm maybe you guys can relate to this this feeling you guys maybe have homes even if you've been in it for a while maybe you have just started a cleaning journey or a decorating journey or an organizing journey and you're feeling very overwhelmed so if you're feeling that way please know that I totally understand how you feel and that's just how I'm feeling and I think it's just starting to hit me now because it's getting real we have a busy fall coming up um it's just gonna be a lot but I'm reminding myself that it's all good things you know like sometimes you just need to put yourself in check and say number one it's all good it's good stress number two who cares if your house is a mess i mean you guys can come along my house will be a mess for a while i'm not going to put pressure on myself of having every room get unpacked and organized right away because i believe in taking your time because if you rush then things aren't going to get done right so i'm telling myself that um it's a marathon it's not a sprint so Anyways, long-winded way of saying, yes, I'm excited to have all the fall decorations out and it feels good, but at the same time, I'm like, uh, this will be like for two months and then we'll be moving. Anyways, thank you guys so much for being here. I cannot wait. Um, there'll be a lot of new things to, to, to clean and organize and even decorate, which I am totally, like at least with the organization, like I got it. I just gotta spend a little bit of time and I got it. Decorating, uh, I'm really hoping that most of the, the pieces of furniture we have in this house translates and looks good in the new house because I don't want to buy a lot of stuff. Um, you guys can come along with me. You can help me out. You can be my friend. Tell me what to do. Help me out a little bit. Anyways, I hope you guys are ready for fall. I hope this motivated you guys to do a little bit of decorating and gave you some inspiration. Even Hopefully it just gives you some inspiration and you can kind of tweak it to what works for you and your home. But thank you guys so much for being here and being a part of this amazing journey. And I can't wait to bring you to the new house and the new journey and all that we have over there. So anyways, I hope you guys are having a good day. I hope you have a wonderful week coming up. Happy September and happy fall. I'll see you guys next time. <laughs> Bye.